Now when you come down to the blues, now you just sit here and watch, man. Hey, VC. It's Chris, your blues guy. Cheers, and welcome back to Blues Guy Vinyl. Uh, thank you very much for joining me here once again today. And uh, it's actually a beautiful, warm, sunny day today. We had some snow a few days back, but um, the temperature shot up to way, way above zero Celsius. So the last couple of days has hovered around 8 to 10 degrees Celsius. Snow is melting, blue skies. So I will take it while it lasts. Hello, Mr. Sun. Fantastic. Anyway, enough blabbing on. Uh, because the weather has been so nice, I've had a chance to run out to uh, a couple of record stores that are a little bit outside of the normal loop that I do. So, um, a couple of days ago I decided to head to Kensington, which is uh, just sort of on the other side of the river here in Calgary from where I live. And it's a place there called Hot Wax, and I don't often get a chance to head over there, but when I do, I always enjoy it because they have uh, they're one of these places that has a bargain basement. And all of the records down in their basement are $2 each. Now, if it's a double album, then you pay $4 for it. Sometimes you can talk the guy down to 2 or 3 bucks, But generally, $2 per record down there. And they have everything from uh, down in that basement in, in the bargain area from uh, jazz and easy listening and country music. And then, of course, rock. Rock of all kind. It's just... Uh, sort of a big massive area with shelves and it's just all rock A to Z, jazz A to Z, easy listening and country all A to Z. Um, not a lot of blues there per se. What they do is they mix it in with rock. So, um, you, you know, you can find some stuff if you dig and I love digging in that joint. So, uh, this video today is going to be some of the items that I found in there for uh, two bucks a piece. Uh, a few items that uh, you know, I've been kind of thinking about kicking around getting if I could uh, find them out in the wild. You know, things that have sparked my interest, if you will. And I had some luck. So, here we go. Uh, the very first album I'm going to show you today is from 1969. This is a Canadian pressing. And this is uh, Kenny Rogers and the first edition. Ruby, Don't Take Your Love to Town. Now, I'm not a huge country music fan. Um... I don't mind some of the uh, sort of the pre-country um, pop stuff, you know, from the 50s and 60s and even getting into the 70s, you know, like Outlaw Country and stuff like that. Uh, Willie Nelson, fantastic songwriter. Johnny Cash, definitely, uh, you know, the king of the country badasses. But I must say, uh, there's something about Kenny Rogers' voice uh, any of you who have been around here for a little while, you know that I love that sort of raspy, gravelly kind of voice in a, in a, in a singer. And uh, Kenny Rogers really fits the bill. He's got a great voice. He can be smooth from one moment to the next. Gets into that gravelly kind of rough, almost a down-home sort of feel. And this is a great album. Ruby, Don't Take Your Love to Town. A terrific song. Absolutely great. The percussions on it are terrific. The guitar work is fantastic. And another uh, hit on here that I really love is a song called Reuben James. What I really like about this uh, Reuben James song is that it reminds me of a Tony, uh, Tony Joe White song uh, called uh, Willie and Laura Mae Jones from his album uh, Tony Joe White uh, Black and Blue, I believe it's called. It's got Polk Salad Annie on it. I've shown it on here before. It's a great album. But anyway, th it reminds me a lot of that in terms of the theme or the subject matter. Uh, but it's much more of an up-tempo, very danceable song, actually. Uh, in fact, it's a toe-tapper. I challenge you to listen to Reuben James and not tap your, at least tap your toes to that one. Uh, and speaking of Kenny Rogers and the first edition, uh, I saw this one down there and I couldn't pass it up as well. Uh, and this is their greatest hits. And I picked this one up. I mean, it has a lot of the songs that uh, it has on um, Ruby, Don't Take Your Love to Town. But it also has that very famous just dropped in to see what my con what condition my condition was in, which of course is on the Big Lebowski soundtrack. Great movie, great song. This uh, this whole album's got a collection of all of them are fantastic tracks. So uh, this was great to pick up for for uh, two bucks as well, and it's on that reprise label, same as the uh, the first one. And the great thing about this is that it. 
It still had the booklet, the original booklet that came with it. It's got uh, sort of a blurb about, you know, the band and how they formed and, you know, each of the artists. Some great pictures in there. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Try and do this Jamie Cottle style here. But uh, very nice, actually. Very nice, colorful photos, black and white photos, some great text. Very nice, thick cardstock paper with a little bit of a textured sort of paper to it. So, yeah. Very nice stuff, and you know, to, this stuff always falls out of the albums, or you know, once you get into dollar bins or two dollar bins, I don't hold much high hopes and high expectations that it'll still be in there, but uh, you know, when it is, it's just a nice little bonus. So yeah, there you go, nice little booklet. Uh, next, down in that two dollars as well, I was very pleased to find, uh, this is a 1967 Canadian pressing of Donovan's Mellow Yellow. Now, of course, I'm familiar with Donovan, and I'm familiar with the song, and I know that he was quite a good guitar player, guitar picker, and a fantastic songwriter, but what really started to get me thinking a lot and sort of keeping it at the top of my mind about Donovan was a video that I think it was Mazzy did a little while ago where he showed his Donovan collection and really talked a lot about Donovan and brought up a lot of points that either a lot of people aren't aware of or people just sort of forget about Donovan. Like his songwriting and his, uh, you know, his voice and his guitar playing as well, right? And uh, often sort of fallen by, into the shadow of Bob Dylan. But I agree, he really does stand out on his own. Don, Donovan is absolutely fantastic. And this is a great album, a uh, terrific album. Of course, the, the opening track is just lovely. Um, it's, uh, you know... I guess, and I'm not too familiar with psych and psych rock and all that, but I'm guessing that this is kind of right around the time where a lot of uh, the artists were really sort of experimenting and, and really starting to dip their toes into the psych sound that was really coming up and developing. And, of course, Donovan was no exception. I mean, he was, I, from what I understand, a little bit of a pioneer in that sort of thing, and a little bit of a trendsetter and experimenter with a lot of those sounds. So that's on the Epic label. Bright yellow epic label. Uh, autographed by June S., I guess the former owner. So uh, thanks, June. Thanks for scribbling your name all over the uh, record and the album. There it is. June S., thanks. But, oh well. Um, yeah, really impressed with that Donovan album. As well as with this one. This is uh, Cosmic Wheel from 1973. Donovan. Cosmic Wheels. Very cool looking gatefold. Um, again, it has had the original inner sleeve in there. Sort of a hard, a little bit of a higher quality hard cardstock inner sleeve, which is very nice. And this is on Epic. It's a beautiful label, actually. Quite nice. Sounds wonderful. Um, again, a very sort of experimental uh, sounding album in terms of themes. Uh, some very trippy, sort of psyche stuff in there as well. But also, you know, a little bit of this kind of... Uh, and I guess it's something that he's always been influenced in. He's, you know, it's got a little bit of this sort of uh, New Orleans jazz, kind of a traditional jazz sound to it. A sort of jug band type sounds as well um you know more bluesy sort of tracks on the album uh, and of course the folk element is always uh laced throughout all of his songwriting so absolutely terrific i'm, I'm very very pleased and especially at two dollars a piece you know and this is something that i'm definitely going to head back there in the next little while and dig through and see if i can find a few more of donovan's albums because uh, you know he's just absolutely terrific so there you have it. Uh, last but not least on this uh, little video for today, this excursion, uh, from 1971, another Canadian pressing. This is America. I think this is their second album, right? It's uh, the album that's got a horse with no name, which is a great song. 
beautiful harmonies in that. Just an absolutely outstanding album. Again, a Canadian pressing on this one. This is on uh, Warner. It's on that funny looking sort of avocado green label there. And this also had a little surprise insert in it, but it was a surprise insert that didn't belong with this album. But I'm going to hang on to it because uh, it's, it's pretty cool. It's actually the poster from the Eagles Hotel California, I think, album, if I'm not mistaken. I remember pulling it out and thinking, oh, it came with a poster. And then I opened the poster and I'm like, wait a sec, that's Joe Walsh. There's Joe Walsh there. I don't remember Joe Walsh being in America. Right? Don Henley there. Right? And Glenn Fry and the boys. So, and the thing is, I do not have a copy of the Eagles Hotel California album. So, of course, now I'm going to be looking for it. Um, I dig the Eagles. I really like the Eagles. And that's an album that, for just some reason, I haven't been able to find at a decent, in decent condition at a decent price out in the wild. So, if I do find one and it doesn't have the poster, then at least I've got the poster. And uh, if I do get one and it has the poster in it, what I'll do is I'll maybe just hang on to this for anybody out there that has a copy and do not have the poster. And I can send it to you. Because that's what we like to do around here in the VC. We like to share not only knowledge like this, which is how I got turned on to the whole Donovan thing, but we like to just share stuff, physical stuff, you know, VCLT and, uh, you know, sending people gifts and stickers and posters and t-shirts and all that. So, you know, terrific. Absolutely outstanding. So with that being said, I think that's going to do it here for today. So once again, thank you very much for joining me here at Blue Sky Vinyl. Cheers. As always, if you haven't already, please like and share the video and uh, subscribe. And of course, hello and welcome to all my new subscribers. Been seeing some new faces and avatars around here again as of late. So thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Of course, to all of you, have yourselves a good day. And remember... Keep digging, keep spinning, have a good one, take care, have a good day, bye-bye.